It's a game called Wahoo. Just a two foot by two foot board is what we're going to use. This is one that my dad had built me for Christmas one year. It's a pretty fun game, it's a marble game. Roll a dice and run your marble around the board. Probably get some instructions off the internet on how to play. But today we're just going to put, them, put a couple of them together. So, anyway, the holes I measured out, they were one inch apart. And uh, we just pretty much got a new piece of wood, a Luan board. Uh, we just drew the one inch graph on there. And now I gotta take a punch and we're gonna pre punch the holes in. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so all we did was we took a punch, a hammer and just punched in the ones that we had circled to match the original Wahoo board. Now we're going to take a half inch drill bit and a drill press here and of course we're going to adjust the depth perception here so that we don't go too far into the wood. Well we're taking the edges off just to give it that same look. Uh, just a little note when cutting with a, a non-trim blade on a skill saw to turn your wood over because then you get these bad edges which we're going to sand down and give it a little angle anyway but whenever you get these bad edges here's one now we got something to repair now if you turned it over of course you have a much smoother cut so when if you're going to cut anything off of this pretty wood flip it turn it and then you get your better edge all right ran across a small problem not nothing major just that our drill press the wood wouldn't go all the way back in order to drill you know the inner holes so we're going to have to freehand just a few to get to those just take a little bit more precision skills and taking your time and try not to drill too deep into the wood. We're going to finish this out and uh, go from there. Alright, we got all those drilled out and fixed. You had been real careful that drill bit will start sinking real quick on you. I got a couple of them that was too deep but nothing major. Then after using this half inch drill bit and making our holes here we're going to take a 7 8 drill bit and just hit the outer rim just slightly well after using the 7 8 bit try to get real close you can tell it cleans it up real good and it kind of can get rid of all that mess cut that we've did but it opens up the hole at the top and it allows the marble to sit in there a little bit better. And we're going to do the whole board. Okay, got them all opened up with that bit. Next step is now to uh, sand it all down and get rid of the pencil marks. We're going to curve the edges a little bit with the sander. That's something we're pretty much done. Time. Alright, we got the uh, first sanding uh, with a rough grit. Use the 80 grit. Use the gator paper, of course. Over the years, you know, you discover that sandpaper is one of those items that you can really say you get what you pay for. Anyway, that's our first sanding. And even though I am a big fan of my glorious belt sander, thanks, Dad. I use that thing for everything. But in this case, I wanted to make this right the first time I think that belt would have tore it up a little bit more. Uh, we're going to go to a 220 for a fine sanding and then do our edges. Okay, got it all sanded down. This is what it's going to look like. We're just going to take some paint. Of course I'm going to wait until the marbles come in. And uh, we're going to paint you know the matching colors. And once we get that done of course I'll update the video well, that's it now we just got one more to do 
This is on our second board. And the reason why it looks kind of wet is because we uh, found something on the shelf to take them pencil marks out. And uh, actually worked out a lot faster. You don't get the sanding grooves. And of course once it dries, I'm sure we'll see a little bit more. See one coming up there. We can work out of there later on, but much faster and keeps the sanding grooves out of it. Okay, here's the finished product of the Wahoo board. Got all of our colors in the holes and uh, sanded it back down to get rid of the color around that we missed. But that's it. This is, you know, of course, without the stain or clear gloss or anything on it, it's pretty smooth. I like that little lamb board. Uh, I might just leave it like that.